Hello, everybody, and thank you so much for stopping in and checking in on us on our 50-state journey. I am so excited right now because I am in Camden, Maine, and I am with Marie Romano, who I was connected with through Kelly, right, O'Neill, who connected us. So first of all, Marie, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. We're in your homestay, and you're hosting my crew and I. You designated rooms for us. You have our names and little baskets and goodies in there for us. You gave us a tour, which we'll be posting on YouTube for sure. Tell everybody the name of your homestay. Serenity Falls. And what possessed you to allow us to intrude on you? You are doing the coolest thing by being on the road and just living your passion. And by you living your passion, we're kind of on a 50-state tour with you um, because we've been able to go virtually to all of the places that you've gone. So it's been a pretty interesting trip for everyone on the outside, too. You know, I, I have been waiting to tell you something face-to-face, -face, and I wasn't planning on doing it during this fun little interview with you, but I do feel like this is probably a really good time to tell you. When Kelly connected me, to you, we needed a place to stay for, for a night in Maine, right? And, and we're here for two. <laughs> um, and you were so excited that we were going to come and you were so excited that we could help you show everybody your, your awesome homestay because I know this has been a passion of yours and we're going to do a formal interview with you later that's going to air in season three. Because you were so excited that we were coming and so receptive to our visit, it made me look at a couple other places that we had on our path that we didn't know anybody and we didn't have any place to stay. The first place I thought of was Alaska because I'm thinking, oh my gosh, Marie, we, we're going to go to Alaska. Like anybody else that travels the, the States, they, they typically do the 48 continental because you can drive. But I was like, if we're going to do this, we're going to do all 50 States. So how am I going to do Alaska? Because you assume it's going to be so expensive and I don't know how we're going to make this happen. Because you were so excited, I called a bed and breakfast in Alaska. And not only did the woman say that we could come for the two nights, she insisted that we stay with her for the four nights that we were there. And we had an amazing experience, and she was so happy that we were there. She had lost her husband, um, a, you know, a little while ago. But she just loves Alaska, and she just was really happy that we were there. Okay. But because Alaska was so receptive and we didn't know anybody in Omaha, I, and I was really apprehensive to call because I really, I don't like to ask people for things. It's something that this trip has helped me with, you know, to ask when I need help and receive and know that I am doing the best I can back with genuine, authentic intentions to do the right things for other people too. So anyway, what happened was I waited and waited and waited. We still didn't know anybody in Omaha. So I called to bed and breakfast, and it was this amazing mansion, okay? So they hosted us with one bedroom for my girls. My daughter and her boyfriend got a room. My husband and I got a room because they were trailing behind us during that section of the trip. My husband's sister came and got a room. My husband's best friend and his son came and got a room. So we filled up their wow. bed and breakfast. Okay, awesome. So they got to meet this family, but here's what was special about this family. The father was in finance, and, um, and so he helped the kids invest in real estate. The, it's a daughter who's in her, I think, 21, an 18-year-old son, and an 11-year-old son named Jack, right? During the interview with the family, the daughter wasn't there, but it was the husband, the wife, and the two boys. During that interview, Jack revealed that his father had cancer. And when I looked at the mom, and listened to the rest of the conversation and heard that it had spread to different places, I knew in that moment that I had an amazing opportunity, which was to ask the father questions that his kids would want to know the answers to, God forbid. God forbid something happened. It was an amazing interview with this incredible family. The last I heard is that the father's in hospice. I did. I've been following that. And so the bottom line is we will have something to give that family 
and it really, it started with you and it started with Kelly's connection, connecting me to you because if you had not been so receptive to having us and so excited for us to come here, I would never, because of my, my issues with asking people for help, I would never have reached out to other bed and breakfast or homestays. And because I did, hopefully we're going to have something very beautiful to pass on to this family. So I just wanted to tell you that that happened and started with you. I don't know what to say. I learned a very long time ago that people don't know what you need until you tell them. They can't guess. Usually if they guess, it does not work out very well in the end for anyone. But people will always know what you need if you tell them. And I am very humbled that that whole experience happened and started with me. Um, we are always right where we need to be, even if we don't know it at the time. Exactly. And I mean, you are an incredibly caring person, which is why you put so much into this home and having us here and even contacting my daughter to find out what it is that I would like to eat. I mean, that was so thoughtful, just these thoughtful things. I, I really feel like you are in the right place now. And I'm excited to find out more about how you ended up here when we talk later today. So I wanted to share that with you. I wanted to thank you for that. And um, that's it, everybody. Please know, Marie, that you motivate me. Motivate me. Thank I'm you. Lynette Renda. I'm Marie Romano. And this is Motivate Me. And we are in Camden, Maine, baby, at Serenity Falls Homestay. That's it. Thanks, everybody. And I talk to you, 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 and we love, we love, and we hate, we hate, and we chat and run straight. We try to relate. This is my breakthrough. Now this my breakthrough. Whoa. Oh man, this my breakthrough. Whoa.